I think you and I are gonna get along just fine. Okay, people, welcome back to another Foosh Review. Today, we're going to take a look at the Disney Galaxy's Edge exclusive, Edge exclusive, Disney's Galaxy's Edge Hasbro Star Wars Black Series Smugglers Run. Now, before I get into any of this, I would like to thank Neftali for picking this up for me. He hit me up on Messenger. He said, hey, would you like one? And I said, yeah, hit me with Smugglers Run because out of the packs that, yeah, I want the First Order pack and yeah, I want the droid pack, but this one right here with Hondo, this is the main one to get, I, I feel like. Looking at the package, it's very premium. And this is something you would expect to have to go to California or eventually Orlando to pick up. Although I'm hoping this goes up on the Disney store at some point. The front is Velcroed shut. Once you open it, you get a look at the figures inside. And you pretty much see everything you get with this set. Glare! On the inner flap, you get the same pictures. You get kind of an explanation for the set. On the back, same pictures and then bios for each character. And I guess I just realized with Ray, with this version of Chewbacca, with the Porgs. Hondo make it all the way to the time of the sequels. Quickly reading his bio, it says he's on the side of the Resistance, which puts him in the time of The Force Awakens and The Last Jedi. Either way, it's Hondo. The side making it look like a case or a binder of some kind. Top, same thing. Bottom, just the single UPC. But I'm gonna get this open, see what's going on here. <laughs> Chewbacca's too big. They could have moved him up a little bit. I guess he would have been out of view from inside the packaging. So his feet are sticking out. Like uh, the sheet is too short on the bed. Okay, let's get these out of the way right off the bat. Here are the Porgs. Now I have nothing against Porgs. They're, they're cute, they're cuddly, whatever. I don't feel like they're essential characters or anything, which is what throws me off about this being a four pack a four pack. They're counting these as the fourth character, I guess, but at the same time, they're only charging $10. Usually in the multi-pack, it's the number of figures times the usual retail price of those figures. So three characters, 60 bucks, another 10. This set was 70. So I guess it works out, but eh, I don't know. Paintwork is decent. I don't feel it's as good as the ones we already have, which we'll look at here in a second, but it's, it's Porgs. It works. The wings slash arms or whatever are ball jointed. You can bring them around to wherever you want. They give us a sad looking Porg and then kind of a shocked Porg. Both Porgs get the ball joint wings. For comparison, boy, this is hard. <laughs> here are the Smuggler's Run Porgs and here are the cute little boxed Porgs we got a couple years back. I kind of like the overall shape of these. They're a little bit more defined and the paints on those older ones are a little bit more detailed. The fade is a little bit better. You can see through the feathers a little bit more. It makes it more realistic. I feel like since we're getting this one, the sad, you should be ashamed of yourself, Porg, we should have got a cooked one too. Yeah, just, you know, to round out the, the, the whole cast. And then for comparison, here they are with Chewbacca and Rey. What, you wanted a better shot? There you go. Next up out of this set is Chewbacca, the Force Awakens version. Now, if you have the original trilogy Chewbacca, and then you have the Force Awakens Chewbacca, you have this Chewbacca. Same overall figure, same bandolier, as The Force Awakens. The Force Awakens Chewie also had the closed mouth. The original trilogy didn't. And really for a basic Black Series Chewbacca, it's it's nice. I like the sculpt on this. The articulation may not be the most useful, but they tried. It was a valiant effort and I commend them for that. But at the end of the day, uh, it's okay. The bandolier does have a trench sculpted to go under the head and then on the torso. So it stays pretty nice, but you can knock it off if you get crazy with it. A little bit off. But like previous Chewbacca's, you have really harsh transitions from color to color. There's the dark upper torso going to light lower, dark upper. I mean, I get what they're going for here, but it's very uh, just blah! And then on top of that, as much as I love the photo reel and stuff, they didn't apply that to Chewbacca, I guess because his eyes are so recessed in there and you can tell, look at that left eye. Some realistic eyes here would have just mm, mwah, set it off. Going over articulation, there's a ball going up into the head, but <laughs> That's all you get because of all the hair hanging down. Shoulder hinges up, rotates around. Hinge and swivel at the elbow comes up, not quite 90. Swivels, hinge and swivel at the wrist. Torso joint, waist joint, and then the legs down here. All together, you get a little bit of crunch, but all that hair works against it. It just puts it to neutral position. Get back up there. I said you held on pretty good. Now you're making a liar out of me. Ball coming out to the hip. Not bad for all the fuzzy furry stuff. Swivel at the thigh. Hinge and swivel at the knee. Comes up to 90. Then it swivels. And then hinge. 
little bit of rocker, but hindered by, <laughs> you know, the hair boot down here. Size-wise, Chewy stands at a seven and five-eighths tall. Here he is with the Black Series original trilogy Chewbacca and the Hasbro Black Series The Force Awakens Chewbacca. Looking at them side by side, the transitions between light and dark fur aren't as bad as the Force Awakens version. But the Force Awakens version has the shading around the eyes to kind of, you know, dull it down a little bit. And then the original trilogy has the open mouth. But I don't care for open mouths, so you take this, you take this behind the camera strength then i have a force awakens chewy with the open mouth force awakens chewy with closed mouth and then ot chewy with a closed mouth for giggles here he is with the sh figure arts solo chewbacca and the a new hope chewbacca and then finally the black series islands of adventure ray and the force awakens han for accessories chewbacca comes with his bow caster which is the same we've seen several times so far this one is very very rubbery though just bouncy 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 but unlike previous chewbacca's the hands are also a little bit rubbery boom not a big deal <laughs> except for this bandolier get up there for ray once again Again, it is a 99% figure that we already have. But even then, it's not a bad sculpt. You have the robes coming down. You have this cool texture to the underdress, undershirt, whatever that is. Wrinkles and a slight texture to the pants. The boots look nice. Wraps around the arms. But the big thing here is the head. And like a lot of photo reel lately, there's some shininess to the whole face. But I will say this is a huge improvement over this. Hey, you good? But I definitely don't like it as much as this. When they first implemented the photo reel into this line, oh, they nailed it. For articulation, there's a hinge in the neck with a ball going up into the skull. She looks down. Up, hair kind of gets in the way. Not a lot of tilt. Swivel. Shoulder. Rotation. Hinge and swivel at the elbow, but comes up past 90. And then swivel. Swivel at the wrist, along with up and down hinge for shooting or saber or whatever. That's perfect. Ball joint at the waist comes forward a little bit. Arcs back a little bit. A little bit of tilt. A little bit of tilt. Swivel. Lower tunic or sash or whatever is a nice rubbery material, so it gets out of the way of the hips. Back. Out. Rotation at the thigh. Double knee. I don't know if I had this problem with the first one, but it seems like there's not enough cutout for the size of the discs in there. When you go to rotate it and bring it up, it kind of pushes against the plastic, but still good range. Hinge at the ankle goes back, forward, and then forward facing pin for rocker. For accessories, she comes with the Excalibur lightsaber. Silver on the hilt, some black, the red button. It's pretty much standard at this point. Ooh, there's some gold over there on that side too. And then the blue of the blade, a little bit deeper than we've seen in the past, kind of like what we just saw with Obi-Wan. We get the same old Ray blaster. It's silver, it's got black on the handle. Does a really nice gunslinging pose in her hand. And with the range of the wrist and elbow, that, that doesn't look bad at all. But if you don't want her holding it, it does go in the, does it go in the holster? Huh, the holster wants to catch the barrel right at the end. Then you have the same old Ray staff. <laughs> and I hate saying that, same old Ray staff. We've gotten this several times before. Ray stands about five and nine sixteenths tall. Here she is with the Hasbro Star Wars Black Series original version that I think I got at San Diego a couple years ago. And then the Toys R Us exclusive version with the cloth goods. The Toys R Us version was a, an improvement on the face over the original. And I feel like this is an improvement on the face over both of them. But like I showed a minute ago. Not as good as the Island Ray, but still way better <laughs> than the painted on job we were getting around The Force Awakens. Here she is with the SH Figure Arts Kylo and the SH Figure Arts Ray. I've got to give it up to the SH Figure Arts here. Yes, this is improved, and if you only do Black Series, this is probably the Ray in this costume that you want to get, but. <sighs> Mm. Then here she is with the Black Series Luke from that San Diego set with a custom casting cave head. And then the SH Figure Arts Luke Skywalker from The Last Jedi. And then finally, th the reason I wanted this pack, there's Hondo. And Hasbro seriously went all out on this figure. I wasn't aware that he lives on into the Resistance era, but... I also, after a little bit of research, yeah, I did some research. This is about the same costume as the animatronic at Galaxy's Edge. The neck is a little bit off, the colors are a little bit off, but I'm sure Hasbro was working with concept art or sketches here. There were changes made as the animatronic was built and it, it, things happen. I actually like the more muted colors on here as opposed to the brighter red on the animatronic. And then when you really dig into it, you see a texture here on the jacket with all these little sculpted details, along with different colors just to throw in there just change it up a little bit there is a color or texture difference from hip to leg it's more matte here and a little bit darker but with the jacket uh, it's kind of harder to tell i really dig the pirate boots here with this front flapped knee pad or whatever it is but the arm brace are being a different color and them wanting to get more articulation out of a hinge and swivel by bringing the cut down it kind of uh, <laughs> destroys the mystique there i think the sculpt is there 
And if they had thrown some paint on there, I'm sure it would have scratched. Well, I don't know. Does it actually touch anything when you bend it? Huh, not really. So, I mean, they could have, but they didn't. And it's really obvious. <laughs> but they did come in with the gold right here, the silver. It's, there is a wash to this inner shirt. It makes it look a little bit more aged. And then speaking of aged, <laughs> once I got this out of the package, I was like, oh, yeah. This uh, this is a little bit older for Hondo. It essentially matches up fairly well to the animatronic. The hair hanging down, the dreads, nice soft material so it does get out of the way. But look at that cocky ass grin. That That's Hondo. Yes, I am Hondo. Even his neck is wrinkly up in there. That's awesome. Articulation wise, there is a ball at the top of the neck going up into the skull and I've pulled and I feel like it's coming off, but then it's not coming off. And with this being what it is and how I had to get it and stuff, I don't feel like tearing the neck in half. So <laughs> trust me, there's a ball. But I also think there's a ball at the bottom of the neck and that helps just a little bit. Not a huge range of movement, but can look down, look up just a little bit. They brought the tilt to Hondo, totally worth it. Swivel, arm hinges up, swivels around. Hinges swivel at the elbow, comes up past 90, then swivels. Hinge at the wrist, as sideways for the gun hand, no. Swivel, ball joint at the torso, and I'm gonna attempt to show this, but there's an arc back, then there's kind of a crunch forward, nice tilt to the sides, and then rotation. Here's another mystery to be solved. Behind this belt, I don't wanna go peeling at it too much because I can't get it up enough to see under there, but I believe the lower torso and the crotch piece are the same. If there is articulation there, I cannot get it to move, so... Uh, but below that is a ball coming out to the hip, comes up to about right there. Back, not much. Out, uh, <laughs> more than some Marvel Legends I've looked at lately. Rotation at the thigh. Double knee, jacket gets in the way, but if it wasn't for the jacket... Oh, there he is, kicking his own ass. Ankle, one of the smoothest ankles I've messed with in a while. There is detents but they aren't tight as hell, but the joint isn't loose, so it holds his weight too. Very nice. And then forward facing pin for rocker. Oops, I stand corrected. Side to side on the wrist, but that's not the gun slinging hand. He's left handed, apparently. I'd miss that completely. And on that hand, it is up and down. So I take it back, Hasbro. You did a good job. For accessories, he comes with a blaster. Nice little silver and gold work here. It looks like the weapon of a pirate. Or does it because Krennic's slinging the same gun? I say the same gun, it is the same gun. I almost say it's the same sculpt, but Krennic's came out, what, a couple of years ago? And Hondo's has much sharper detail to it. So I think this may be an all new sculpt or they went back and said, oh, the mold for Krennic's gun is way soft. Let's redo it. Hondo holds the gun really, really well. And while the holster isn't the best, it's just kind of wrapped around the end of it here. It works. You bring the jacket around, it stays around it. It's slung like a pirate. What more do you, oh, okay, sorry a businessman. Hondo stands at six and a quarter inches tall. Here he is with the Rebels crew, fits right in. But apparently he's more this era, so I guess he fits right in here too. So at the end of the day, it's an, it's, it's an okay set, but I'm gonna be perfectly honest, I bought it for one figure and that's it. Okay, the Porgs are unique sculpts. You get a little bit of articulation with them. That's a nice addition to the shelf. Ray is an upgrade from the first version that we got, so that's okay too. Chewbacca? it's more of the same. I mean, if anything, the eyes are a little bit worse than previous versions. But then Hondo, oh man, unique sculpt, nice articulation, new presence on the shelf. I get to add to my Rebels team, which I, I just did last week, so that's growing quickly. Even though I understand this is Resistance era, he's going with the Rebels. That's all there is to it. So for $70, uh, hmm. I don't hate it. I'm okay with the Ray. And now I do have two versions of sequel Chewbacca, one with open mouth, one with closed mouth. So I, I, I guess that's cool. Am I trying to justify my purchase here? <laughs> but I can't help it. I'm gonna reiterate it again. I keep repeating it over and over. This set is for Hondo. That's it. The first order set is for Pyre and then the droid set, besides C-3PO getting a new set of thighs, I'm interested in seeing how that turns out. Uh, that's gonna be for that other droid that I'm not even familiar with, but it's a new figure for the Star Wars shelf. Gotta have it, right? So like most box sets, it's kind of a cash grab. They wanted to make their money by putting some rehashes in and then one new figure to get people to go, oh, I need that new figure. I guess I'll buy the set. But if you're visiting Galaxy's Edge, it's a nice souvenir. If you're just jumping into the Black Series, here's your Ray, here's your Chewbacca, here's some Porgs, and then you get a Hondo too, yes. I don't know, it kind of hurts my wallet, but at the same time, I'm so excited about Hondo, <laughs> it offsets it, but I'm one of those kind of guys. Oh, plastic, yes! If you really like Rebels and you like Hondo, uh, go ahead and grab the set. If not, then you can go ahead and pass here. So if you like the review, comment, like, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the foosh.